The final two rules that you need to know about are known as De Morgan's laws. And this is where the notation, where you use a line to denote a, a not or an inverted uh, symbol is better than where you use one of these if, if you're more uh, used to using an apostrophe. And that's because in De Morgan's laws, you can use the term break the line, change the sign. And that means that A and B, they're knotted, right? So the whole thing is knotted. So you have a line across the top. If I break the line, I change the sign. So I've gone from an and here and I go to an or and I break the line. So the line here is now broken. So this is a really useful simplification rule. And of course, this also applies, break the line and I change the sign. So I've changed my sign from a plus to a multiplication or an or to an and, and I break the line. So these, these two rules known as the Morgan's laws are very, very useful in helping you to, to go that step further with your algebra. Let's look at another circuit example that we can simplify. So here we've got three inputs going into an AND gate. So here I've got A, B and C. So coming out, I've got A and B and C. Here I've got a NOT gate which is attached to my B. So I've got a NOT B that's already filled in. Uh, this you can see I've got an A coming out here. Here I've got my C going into a NOT gate, so I've got NOT C. So let's take this OR gate. Here I've got NOT B OR'd with a NOT C. Here I've got an A coming in and I've got this expression coming in as well into an AND gate. So I'm going to have A AND NOT B OR NOT C. And then finally, I've got this coming in here and this coming in here. This is an OR gate. So my final expression is going to be A plus A, B, C. This is the output function that we just got from the circuit I, I showed. So in order to simplify this, here, we can also employ De Morgan's laws because this is equal to this. Now, we know in De Morgan's laws, if you break the line, you change the sign. So here, we've already got a broken line. If we want to combine the line, we change the sign. It's, it's the same law, but in reverse. And now you can see we've got a term where we can take our A's out. And you know that if you have something or not that something, that's always going to be equal to one. That's one of our basic algebraic rules. So this thing is just the equivalent to A. So our input is equal to our output. So we basically just have one line in the circuit and that's what that's equivalent to. I'll let you, uh, I'll let you check this yourself with a truth table. So NAND and NOR gates actually have universal properties, which means that you can make all of the other types of logic gates out of a NAND or NOR gate. So I'll show you a couple of examples and then I'll leave the rest for you to do yourselves. So here you've got, um, you've got two inputs, but they're actually the same as each other. So here I've got A and A, and this is a NAND gate. So I AND the two together and then I not them. Hopefully you know that A and A together gives you A. So this is actually going to be equal to A knotted. So this NAND gate configuration is the equivalent to a knot gate. Let's take just another example here. So this one's a bit more complicated. Uh, these are NOR gates, so this I've got an input A and an input B. So let's look at this one first. So I've got A coming in. It's the same input on both and it's an OR gate. So it's A OR A and then the whole thing is knotted because it's a NOR gate. So then of course this one 
is going to look the same apart from B is the input. And then these two things are going into another NOR gate. So these are going to be NORed together. So I'll just scribble over here a second. So I've got A plus A knotted or and the whole thing is knotted. Now this is my output here and in order to work out what this is we need to be able to simplify and we can use the Morgan's laws. So we know break the line change the sign so I'm going to end up with A plus A not not and B plus B not not. You know that two knots cancel each other out so I'm going to end up with A plus A B plus B. You know that A or A is just going to be equal to A and the same applies to the B. So this is the same as A and B. So this configuration made purely out of NOR gates is the equivalent of an AND gate. And I'll leave you with the rest to do for yourselves.